So let's take a closer look at the breeding barn and see if we can find out more information on this pedigree predictor. When we click on this question mark, the first thing we're going to see here is that if you breed animals of the same pedigree, you'll get better results. So um, if we find two of the pedigree one, that's going to help us move into pedigree two. Um, where most, everybody's staring at pedigree uh, zero, unless you're able to get the horses uh, for coins. I have heard that not everybody has that choice, and that is quite unfortunate. But you certainly want to check your store, your general store, and see if you have any of the pedigree one horses available to you under the regular horses tab. So let's take a look at what we have here. I do have one horse here that has no pedigree. So if I click on that, it's going to show the little tab for this horse starts here. So then let me go ahead and click on a horse that has a pedigree one. When I click on select, you'll see that little tab has moved up. So if I feed this horse twice, it's going to pull me all the way up here. Let's take a look at what the difference would be if I had two pedigree one horses. So I have these two up here and I'm just checking to see, you know, is these the two that I want to use? To remove them from the top here, I'm just going to click on it again and that's going to unselect those. So we're starting over here. I do not know how we can get the horses in the barn or change them out of the barn that are in here yet. I'm still looking into that to see if we can figure that out. I noticed when I feed a new horse, it asked me if I want to take it to the breeding barn. So at the end here, we'll take a little peek at that and see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select a pedigree one horse. Now you see this little tab starts up here. And maybe we'll go ahead with this one here. Oh, well, how about this one in the middle? That is also a pedigree one. Um, you can see the little choices here too. You get four horseshoes with this one and you get three here. So let's go ahead and try two that have four. That sounds interesting. Now you can see as I'm looking at the pedigree predictor, it has moved up further because I have chosen two of the same pedigree. It's pedigree one, both of these horses. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We'll click on start. And here are horses. It says uh, boost baby 240 feet. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you're watching, this is moving at the top. Now I have almost to where I'm getting to pedigree two. Let's feed it one more time. And I have moved into the pedigree two area. So when we finish, let's see what happens. Here's our baby's pedigree and it is a two. So this is how I started from having no pedigree to getting one pedigree, I bred two horses that both had one pedigree, and now I have a horse that has two pedigrees. So um, I'm going to go ahead and try and get another one of those so that I can move into three. So let's go ahead and place this horse. And I want to check real quick. I have a horse over here that is a pedigree horse and I have enough baby bottles. I want to try clicking, giving the baby bottles to this horse and let's see what happens when I uh, get that pop-up on do I want to go ahead and send that one to the breeding barn. So we'll go ahead and get this taken care of here. And this time it did not come up. So I will need to collect some more baby bottles and see if I can get that pop up. Let me just double check in case I feed it if that happens. I know I've seen it. It's just a matter of placing when, when the timing is. I'm going to go ahead and gather some baby bottles. 
And I'm wondering if it may be the new baby that I will get the pop-up choice on. So I'm going to give that a try. Okay, so here we have the Pedigree 2 horse. This was the baby that we got from the, uh, the new baby that came out. So we have uh, seven bottles until adult. Let's go ahead and get the bottles and see if the pop-up will come up for this one. That may be the correct answer for that. Yes, it is. So, it appears as though the horses that I purchased for coin without a pedigree, I did not get this pop-up when I fed them the bottles. But the ones that were created in the breeding barn, when you feed the baby bottles, does come up with a choice to go breed. So that's how I'm going to go ahead and get this horse into the horse breeding barn. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at what we have here. Um, every four hours, we can go ahead and feed this one. We get 600 points for fair. That's very nice. I'm on pedigree two. You can um, click here to name your horse if you'd like to do that six horseshoes and three of the fertilizer and uh, the price is still the same so i'm going to go ahead and click on go breed and let's see if this one comes up in the bar and there it is this is our two pedigree horse that we just gave the baby bottles to so now we know how we can get them in there um, we originally started with all of them that had no pedigree. We bred those until we got one. You breed two of the horses with one pedigree, and you work your way to two pedigrees and so forth. So hopefully that will help uh, you guys out. You may notice something different that you didn't see before, and it's really nice to be able to learn with you on how this is all going. Thank you.